Hello and welcome to Machine Code for Beginners, Episode 2. I am Retro Markey. Now, to recall, last time we learnt how to change the border colour by using first poking from basic, second using the machine code monitor and third using an assembler. Now today, as promised, we're going to learn two ways of putting hello world. The first way very clunky, but maybe is better because it helps you learn exactly what's happening. And the second way using a loop, which will make things a lot easier and um, reduce the amount of code that we use. Therefore, it's more efficient. So on with the show. Now, one thing we need is a memory, uh, an ASCII map. And that will show us which codes we need to put in the letters. So what we do is we look at this uh, map here and we go to H for hello and it's at 40 and 8. So it's 4, 8. And we look for E and it's 45. L is 4C, 4C. And F would be 4F. So those are the codes we're going to need. Now what I'm going to do is, I think, for the sake of simplicity, I won't do hello world, I'll do just hello in the, the clunky way, because you'll get enough of an idea from that, and then I'll do hello world the not clunky way. So if we load up our trusty turbo assembler, which takes a few seconds, there we go. Yes, we'll clear the memory, and then we need a start address, which will be 850. And there we go. So we start with loading the accumulator. The first thing is we need a value. And we know H, if I've written it down correctly, is for 8. Then we store that at 0, 0,400. Already we can run that or assemble it first. And we don't see a lot. We need an RTS. There we go. And there we go. There's our letter H. Right. If we now do LDA hash dollar 45, that will be letter E. And we now load that into the accumulator, but not at 400. The reason is we don't want it to be on top of the H. We want it to be the next character along. So, let's see, do I have a memory map somewhere? Yeah. So, dollar zero four hundred to zero seven e seven in decimal is 1024 to 2023. And it says here, default area of screen memory, 1000 bytes. So, at 400, we are basically putting our character there in the top left. 401 will be there, 402 will be there, 3, 4, 5, etc. So that's why this address has to increase each time with the A accumulator. Oops, that should be store A $400. So on with the show, we then put dollar, hash dollar 4C. Again, store that, but this time we want to go up again, so that'll be 402. And we're going to do exactly the same because it's uh, letter L again. As I said, this is a very clunky way, but hopefully it will give you a chance to understand how this works. Um, and O is 4F. That should do the trick. That is our hello. Okay. We've got a bit of a problem, but that's fine. We're going to do a lot of debugging through this series. So what have I done wrong? A48, put at 400. A45, put at 401. A4C, put at 402. A4C402, A4F, and we need to store that, of course, at 
0.43. There we go, that should be 3 and that should be 4. There we go, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 400, 401, 42, 43, 44. And that should do the trick. Oh, what's happened there? So we know there's a problem with this one. So dollar for F, go to our character map. Where's O? Oh my God, where is it? There it is, for F. Ah, there we go, look. I missed out the hash, hash. Dollar for F. And there we go. Hopefully that was clear. Basically, we put the first letter, H is 48. We put that at the beginning, at screen position 400 here. So we put the value 48 and put it in screen position 1. Then here, we put the value 45 for letter E into position 401, which will be the second there. Okie dokie. Now, let's see if we can do a better way of doing this because it's pretty clunky. As is deleting this way, there is an easier way, but right. Okay, I'll delete the whole thing first. So the first thing we're going to do is use X. And can you guess how we do that? We load X. So LDA, load A, LDX, load X. And we're going to put a zero. And this is going to be our counter, which I'll show you in a moment. Then we load A with a label called message. And we add X. And the message, so we need to tell it what it's going to be. We put dot text, hello world. Now, the important thing here is we need to know how many characters this is. So we start with H, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And even the space is a character, so that's why it's 12. Okay, now we need to make X bigger. So it starts with 0, then it'll be 1, 2, and it will go up to 12 because we want to put 12 characters on screen. Uh, I think I've done something wrong here. Uh, yeah. We now need to store that, otherwise it won't know where to put it, at 400 again. Now we incre increase x with inx, increase x. And then we compare x. I'm going to put a value, and we know it's 12 characters. Now we're going to do this in hexadecimal. So we've got 1 to 9, then 10 in hexadecimal will be A, 11 will be B, and 12 will be C. Then we say if it's not 12, so branch if not equal. So if it doesn't equal 12, we branch to let's say loop and then we need to put the label loop here so basically that tells it okay x is zero add or increase in fact increase x to one and then compare it is it 12 no branch if not equal 12 back to loop here and then we RTS, I think that should be it. There we go. And there we have it. There is our hello world using the assembler. And as you can see, that's a lot less bytes. So it's going to run quicker, more efficiently, and it's much easier for us to put into a program and keep track of. We can put in our um, pointers here to remind us what we're doing. If we wanted to, we could say let's x um, 
be one. Uh, sorry, zero. Put message. Screen position, etc. So this is why Turbo Assembler or any assembler can be very, very useful. Like I said in video one, it's kind of an it's kind of a cross between the advantages of the basic editor uh, with error checking, without the disadvantages of having to use basic. We can use machine code. Oops, that should be screen. Pause. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Uh, oh, one thing. Let's just get a little bit more advanced. Just a little bonus. What if we don't want to put it uh, in the top left corner here? Do you know how we can do that? Well, we know this is the screen position. So if we now change that to, I don't know, say 415. And then assemble and run. There we go. It's moved it across 15 spaces. And thus the text comes in a different position. So this is very important. So 400, you need to remember or write down. That is position one. Okay, well, I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching. And I think next time we're going to make our first sprite. So instead of putting in hello world and text like that, we'll actually put in our first, not sprite, more of a character that we've created ourselves. Thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.